I'm thinking maybe I actually seriously will join the BMP because, you know, compared to most of their members, I would be quite articulate, wouldn't I? <laughs> right. in, the, in this situation, I'm not. I'm a fucking spastic. But if I was a BMP, I'm now they because at the moment they only have these little members, and if you put them in front of a camera, all they can say is, oh, 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 yeah, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, niggas, huh? Huh? yeah, 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 niggas, niggas. <laughs> right. But if you put me in front of the camera, you know, I can give it a bit more sophisticated, more believable, you know, credible air, you know, so I can actually come out and go, yes, I think what my esteemed colleague is trying to say is that economically, spiritually, politically, and, you know, even um, uh, humanly, um, I think, um, uh, niggas, 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 yeah, 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 in it. So, I don't like being called controversial. I don't like hearing Tony Martin being called controversial either, right? Because I think he's a wee bit of a hero, right? There's a special place in my heart, Tony Martin. You know, I think you should make him Chief Immigration Officer of the United Kingdom. I think we'll get all the fucking problems sorted out pretty fucking fast, right? I mean, you know, don't want to kind of like defend him sort of like, you know, uh, politically or anything like that, but if you start fucking around with farmers in Norfolk, good luck. You know, <laughs> you know he's been on, he was on television, he was interviewed, and he said, um, at my age, you learn to become pragmatic, right? <laughs> now, Tony Martin's idea of pragmatism is, there were two burglars in my house, so I shot them both. <laughs> pragmatic. <laughs> you can't fuck around with farmers. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna commit any burglary jobs, right, do it any way you like, you know, but, I would leave farmers alone, right? Because they are dangerous bastards, right? <laughs> you know, they're fucking mad mental, all fucking lot of them, you know? How long have you been working on your farm? Oh! <laughs> Seven years! <laughs> what do you feed your sheep with? Cows! <laughs> what do you feed your cows with? Sheep! <laughs> Where's all your flock? I don't know! <laughs> They're the cunts that make us put our clocks back and forward twice a fucking year. What's the matter with these cunts? Get a fucking torch! <laughs> and nothing bought on a farm is any good, by the way, right? Eggs is bad for you, meat's bad for you, cheese is bad for you, everything they produce is bad for you. Fucking take their fucking straw out of their mouth and stick it sideways up their fucking arseholes. These fucking farmer fucks! <laughs> Sorry, that was a punchline there. <laughs> at least it's heartfelt, my boys. <laughs> yeah, you can't, fuck, you can't fuck around with farmers, especially ones in Norfolk, you know? Even space aliens that are sighted by British people, even they won't fucking land in Norfolk, you know? The, 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 the spacecraft kind of dips down towards Norfolk and goes, fuck that, let's go out to Cornwall. Because <laughs> yeah. don't go there, I was there last year and tried to anal probe Tony Martin's wife, but she came out with big fucking strap on and fucking anal probe me. <laughs> Driver going, who the fuck met these Pakistani? <laughs> I'm on this fucking shit. Excuse me, I was born and bred in Venus. <laughs> I am entitled. I hate cunts that say, I'm both Muslim and British. Hey, go fuck yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like saying, um, I'm a multiple murderer. And a fucking serial rapist. <laughs> it, just, it makes no fucking sense. You know. That joke didn't quite work, but I improvised it, you know. That's what I'm saying. I'm a multiple murderer and a, what do you call it? A serial killer. That's the fucking word I was fucking looking for. People want their cake and eat it, don't they? I, if people ask me what I am, I am Muslim and British and I am here when there is money to be made and I'm over here when there is not. You know, and you know, you know, the whole country is so fucking gay, right? Everyone wants everything, you know? There's no such thing as minority groups anymore, right? Every group is fucking massive. Everybody wants everything, you know? So it's like, you know, everybody, you know, cunts want to fucking, I want to be able to get on the train and have a fucking seat. I want to be able to get over there in two seconds. I don't want to pay any money for it. I don't want a congestion charge. I want the car to work its fucking self, right? I want a fucking mobile phone that'll dial it all by itself, speed dialing. One that I can stick up my arse so I can dance on the dance floor and run the friend at the same fucking time. 
I want my own ringing tone. Nobody else's. My own fancy ringing tone. Right? And I want to be able to buy diet ice cream and diet crisps that taste exactly like real crisps and real ice cream. But while I'm eating it, I'm losing weight at the same fucking time. And I want an iPod that size that connects to my computer whenever I even fucking think about it. And I want ripple suction that costs fuck all. And that's going to make me into an instant fucking celebrity like that. And I want to be on Big Brother because I don't want to, God forbid, get a proper fucking job. <laughs> like working in a public toilet and fixing the fucking locks are in there. <laughs> yeah, I want to be a superstar pop idol without having to play an instrument or fucking sing or do anything. I want to be an instant fucking million billionaire and, you know, and I want to be gay, but I also want to be a priest because I can't find anything in the Bible that says there's any reason why I can't be a priest and gay. I'm a fucking woman. Yeah. It's fucking mad, you know. Where was I? I completely forgot where I was. <laughs> what controversial thing we were talking about in the fucking yeah, Tony fucking Martin. They should make him chief immigration officer of the United Fucking Kingdom. And we get a lot of things fucking sorted. Because at the moment, it's far too easy for people to get in here, right? Britain is a very small fucking island, right? And it's, you know, you can't just house every cunt, can you? Right, it's typical, you can't fucking do it, right? So you get Tony Martin in charge, because at the moment, right, at the moment, somebody comes from whatever, fucking Italy or fucking France, and they come into Britain, right, and they go, I would like to be, uh, by the way, I can't do accents, they all come out as Pakistani. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not being particularly against Pakistani or Indians or anything like that, I, just, I cannot do accents, right? Trying to do a Welsh accent, that doesn't fucking work, you know? Come in, boy, come in, oh, oh dear, I'll give you a Welsh bit. I can't fucking work, right? So you get these fucking families the going, we are from Croatia, and we would like to we would, too far, we'd like to come in, you know. And then the, uh, currently, the immigration officer says, Well, I'll ask, but I don't think it might be possible, you know. It's very difficult to get into our country, you know. I will ask Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson, hot off? <laughs> so in fact, at the moment, it's very easy to get in the fucking country. If you bring Tony Martin in, right? He, I think he'd solve a lot of problems. You go, right, well, who wants to get in now? Two families of Croats, yeah? Well, let's be pragmatic <laughs> and use the blunderbuss because with one spray, I think we can fucking shoot the whole fucking lot. <laughs> so, any questions?